Alright guys, I am back with another video. <sighs> have a few minutes to kill, so let's try to do that together real quick, huh? But before that, um, i like to apologize again. Um, still dealing with the same family emergency. And it's been draining. Um, it's been, you know, a roller coaster of emotion. There's some good news here and there, but uh, it's still going to be a long-term commitment here. Um, and on top of that, I have a full-time job. And then also, you know, try to maintain the, 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 um, the personal goal that I had for this channel, which is one video a day, is pretty tough. So I hope you guys uh, understand that. Um, and honestly, I'm just learning uh, how to communicate verbally through social media or, or whatever to you know better myself in, in, in public speaking arena right now i know this is like not like publicly speaking physically in front of people but i think it's the next best thing to kind of um uh, get my thoughts out and and, and uh, express my opinion in this manner so but anyway so that is my little rant there let's go into this real quick so we just got the announcement well when i said just <laughs> i'm a you know few days too late here reporting this but hey it's still exciting nonetheless but uh, we know that the earning is going to be june 7th uh, of uh, actually coming week this coming week so today is the fourth and uh, in about three days here right and it's going to be after hours that's good we will see how it's it's going to do right now last earning i was very very optimistic about about the earnings and whatever and i knew the price action was kind of going up right so let me show you what i have here um i don't know if you guys remember what um i did before i think this line I did it, um, you know, right before the earnings right here, when the price was still down here, right? I expected it to go down, but it was kind of like impossible to bring it down, perhaps, right? Who knows? Or, you know, it's just the algorithm um, uh, triggered it to kind of, oh, shoot, you know. Um, like, and this is all happening after hours, by the way. It's just so, like, manipulative. See, like the earnings today, good earning, just small movement here and there to try to trick people. Oh, they're going to try to bring it down first, which I would have thought if I had seen it, right? But after our, it's just straight up, you know. So, I mean, volume has been very low. Um, If you look at the volume um, from... The pass you know this is the squeeze right there or the little tiny sneeze as they we call it and then you know ever since then it's been so low right and now once again hopefully this is going to be another good one and then many more to come right now the expectation is that it is going to be 1.34 billion dollars revenue um in revenue this is an expectation obviously from wall street um people and expectation is that we're gonna lose uh 15 cents per share um we'll see about that you know i'm pretty optimistic about uh the future um just like the last one because um you know i think without debt and paying the interest rates and whatnot and we have whole bunch of money in hand right um i don't see why gamestop wouldn't go up from here see what i mean so i'm expecting good things now um that doesn't mean that the price would just go straight up right or gap up to here it's possible because you know again there's nothing normal about this move here you see what i mean it's like because volume is not there see what i mean and this could be a head and so shoulder too like if you look at this one head shoulder it might just gap up to that level right there um as i initially you know kind of uh predict there now uh we'll see right 
I, I kind of thought it was going to be a lot quicker, as you see in this arrow, arrow here. Um, but hey, nonetheless, again, I'm not an expert on anything here. Just an observation I have with this stock. Again, I am a long-term investor in this one. It's uh, very, very evident to me that I think it's going to do great things. Now, as far as the short, uh, I haven't done this for a long while. Sorry about that. So um, it looks a little bit different, right? Now, it's, uh, it is still the same, kind of 21% there. Um, kind of uh, not exact the same number of shares, but um, the percentage is still 21% shorted. Um, it's pretty high uh, short a percentage for any type of stock, especially in GameStop, right? Um, and of course, you know, you have off exchange and I'm sure they are still doing some financial shenanigans to hide the short position in some short contract or whatever. And I don't know, is it coming due? I have no idea. All I know is that this company is gearing up for a great thing, right? Um, off exchange, uh, it seems like it's coming down now. Fifty percent of of uh, volume going to the dark pool or alternative uh, trading uh, devices. So that's down from what I remembered. Remembered it was like around sixty percent and up. So it's good to see that it's coming down here now. If you look at the data covers, right, um, that depends on the volume. If the volume is low, that means the data cover is going to be higher. So um, I should have, you know, uh, record the kind of tally up what is the average data cover is, but it's pretty high, you know, for even for 14 days, meaning that, you know, accounting for the volume that uh, that we have each day of trading, but this particular day or this particular week, um, it would have taken them 14 days to cover all of the shares up here. So, um, yeah, low volume, big, big price movement, right? Um, up or down. So it's nice to see, you know, GameStop uh, close, close to $25 again. Will it come down? Of course, there's a possibility that it, they will smack us down again due, you know, to uh, low volume or not enough people interested in it yet until it's too late for them already, right? It's always like that, right? Look at this. Like, back then, would you have bought, you know, GameStop down here? Of course not. You would have thought, oh, it's coming down again. Oh, it's coming down again, right? So nobody ever thought this is coming. Now, perhaps it's because of the, the um, social media aspect of it. Elon Musk was tweeting about it. So yeah, of course, it's, it's you know, inevitable that, uh, you know, social media was fueling this. But the problem is still persist. See what I mean? I don't think they have solved this this uh, particular problem yet. And that's why they distract you with Bed Bath & Beyond. They, they distract you with, you know, AMC this, AMC that, even though it's, it's not comparable. You cannot compare other stocks to this particular one. This is the one to be because the company is in transition and they have cash on hand that you, I mean, Look at any other company out there that has cash and zero debt or close to zero debt anyway. So, all right, guys, I, it's about 10 minutes already and I hope, um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. <laughs> okay. I'll see you maybe like in earnings if we do a great price action. I might make another video kind of, um, you know, be happy about it. It's like um, something to look forward to. All right.